hi, hello, hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and welcome. So today I got my hair freshly colored and I wanted to talk about my hair care routine with everyone because I think it's fun to know. It's good to know. Maybe you pick up a tip. Maybe you'll see a product that looks cool. Who knows? Let's talk about it. So I love my hair. <laughs> I try to take really good care of it because I do like keeping it really nice and long and I like the red color that I make it. <laughs> so, you know, that can be very harsh for your hair. When you have long hair, the ends can get so dry. So this is kind of what I do to combat it. So first of all, I wanna say that I only wash my hair once, but at most twice a week. I really, really try to make sure that I'm not stripping my hair too much of its natural oils and just not over-processing it too much. That being said, when I do get it colored, I use a specific shampoo, and that is the Shu Omura Art of Hair Color Luster shampoo. I got this for free from Influencer to try, so I did not purchase this myself, but I really like the shampoo. I did not, I did not like the conditioner because it just was not hydrating enough for what I need, but the shampoo is really good because it is kind of a hydrating shampoo. It doesn't say that, but it is because it's just, it's not, it does not <laughs> cleanse your hair the best, but it is a good color protectant. So when I first color my hair, I do use this so that it doesn't strip the color too bad the first couple times I wash it. Anytime after that, I use some combination of the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Shampoo and the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Exfoliating Shampoo. So I almost never wash my hair with just this anymore because it is very um, like thick and it's made with coconut oil. So it's kind of nourishing to the hair. This is a new one, so I opened it a little so you guys can see what it looks like. But it's like this kind of like paste. It has like a tea tree scent to it because it's supposed to be very refreshing and rejuvenating to the scalp, which it is. But for me to wash my hair with just this, it doesn't get the extra gunk off of my hair in the way that I need it to. So a lot of times if I use just this, I was finding that my hair was feeling very heavy at the roots and it wasn't feeling clean enough. So that's when I started to use this just in the areas that I get a lot of product buildup or scalp itchiness because I do have a problem with my scalp getting itchy. So a lot of times I get buildup of product like around here and kind of like right here. So I try to use it just in those areas. And then for the rest of my scalp, I use this Briogeo one, just because this will actually get all the gunk off of your scalp, but it also doesn't strip your hair too much. It's not like a super foaming shampoo that's really stripping. It is pretty nourishing to the hair but it still cleans it well. So I usually use these in combination. Okay, so for conditioner, I use the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Coconut and Banana Shampoo because it, of course, is a set, you know. But this is also a really, really great conditioner. It's very hydrating. It smells really, really good. I love how it smells. It smells like a banana run. I talk about this stuff in my 2019 favorites also, um, cause I also talk about this cute, this cute little hair bear. <laughs> this is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, this is the honey version of their original Don't Despair Repair Mask, which is also really great. This one just has like a little extra kick, I guess, from the honey being in it. I don't know, but it's so nice. And I'm so sad this is supposed to be limited edition. I hope they like make it permanent because A, it's precious and B, it works so well. A lot of times I mix these together 
to make this last longer, but also because I still really like this conditioner and I like using it. So I'll mix them together and let them sit on my hair for at least 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes. So I'll put them in a little shower cap and I, I shave, I brush my teeth. I honestly get out of the shower and just sit on the couch with my fiance and watch probably football until it's time to rinse my hair because I want to let it soak in as long as possible because that's how you're really going to get the best results with it. Um, like I said, this original version is also really, really good and I recommend it too. But while this is available, consider trying it because it's great. So that's what I use on like a normal full wash day. I have to start from scratch that whole thing. If we're in the middle of my like five day no wash period, but we're doing something and I need my hair to look fresh and clean and good. This Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado and Quinoa Co-Wash. I was terrified to co-wash my hair for a long time because I was like, oh, it's just gonna make my hair feel so heavy and it's not gonna be clean. No, 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 it does a great job. Um, you don't have to get specifically a co-wash. I did just because I wanted to try this one. I've clearly been on a Briogeo kick, so I wanted to try this product as well. It's just a thin, it's like a little bit of a thinner conditioner, and I just mas massage it onto my scalp and then just kind of run it down my hair and let it sit for like five minutes, and then I rinse it out and my hair is refreshed without being at all stripped. It's just a little bit cleaner on the scalp so that your hair can look really fresh if you have something to go to before it's a wash day. So this is a great one to try. I recommended it to a woman I work with and she also loves it. So it's a good one. Okay, so after the shower, we got to put stuff back into our hair, right? It's going to be more brioche stuff. Just get ready. So before I brush my hair, because my hair because it's so long, it gets a little tangled up, whatever. It's thick, I got a lot of hair, gets tangled. So before I brush it, I add this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Strength and Moisture Mask. It's really good, you gotta just shake it up. This looks like it should be like an aerosol, but it's not. I don't know why this is why the, what the container looks like, but it's not an aerosol, it's just a normal spray. This is so good. I was using just the leave-in conditioner from them for a while, and it's good. 100% it's good. But my hair does get very dry, so this is better for me. If your hair doesn't get as dry, the just the regular leave-in conditioner is totally fine. That's all you need. But if your hair, if you find the ends of it get very dry, try it. Just try it. It's really good. So then I followed that up with the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry and Heat Protectant. A heat protectant is absolutely essential to a hair care routine because if you're curling in your hair, if you're blow drying your hair, if you're straightening your hair, whatever heat you're using on your hair, like your hair just can't take that forever. That's how you get more damage done to it. That's how you dry it out. That's how you get split ends. You have to have something to protect it from that heat. So I use this one. It also is is pretty moisturizing so I just you know run it through the ends and let it do its job it's great I also will use a little bit of the Briogeo oil it has rosehip argan and coconut oil in it I clearly have used a lot of it so far I like it it's like fine it's a hair oil um actually when I'm gonna run when I run out of this one I'm going to buy the Olaplex oil that just came out not too long ago my, the guy that cut my hair, he uses it and he swears by it. It's a bonding oil. So I definitely want to try that one when this one is gone. I haven't tried very many Olaplex things, so I'm excited to give that one a go. But I think a hair oil is just important, especially when you're a few days out from your wash. Your hair gets a little frizzy, at least mine does. It starts to feel a little bit more dry at the end. So just something to kind of pull it back together and tame it down for when you curl it or straighten it or whatever is is important for at least my hair. 
I also lately have been into this whey finishing cream. This is Jen Atkins brand. If you don't know who Jen Atkins is, she's the hairstylist for like Kendall Jenner and um, Chrissy Teigen and Hailey Bieber, like all those people that are always beautiful and look so good. And it's because Jen Atkins is pretty good at her job. But this finishing cream has been really, really great. I use it right before I curl my hair. Um, some I don't use it every day because I don't want that buildup of product, but I'll use it maybe twice in the period of not washing my hair. So I put it on right before I curled my hair today. It just leaves this beautiful like shine and it kind of keeps the curls like textured and a little bit separated. You can use this dry or wet. I usually use it on my hair dry. I'll blow dry it and then I'll add a little bit of this and it just really helps the curls come together. I, I've been really enjoying this. I haven't had it for a very long time, but so far I've really liked it. It also has heat protectant in it, which is great because another layer of heat protector, I'm here for it. The final thing I'm going to tell you about is my favorite dry shampoo. So like I said before, I have a little problem with my scalp sometimes getting itchy from like buildup and just, I don't know, sensitivity to life apparently. I don't know. Sometimes my scalp just gets itchy and it would always be worse using dry shampoo until I found this. This is the Psst, <laughs> Scalp Care Dry Shampoo. It's supposed to be lemon scented, but I just think it smells very lightly citrusy. It's not overly scented at all. Um, this is very has been very nourishing for my scalp and I definitely have noticed a difference with my scalp not being itchy anymore. <laughs> I don't know what it was about the other ones. I don't know if it was like over fragrance or if it was, um, or if it was just, I don't know, too harsh for my scalp maybe. It's interesting because I really don't have sensitive skin, but for whatever reason, my scalp just kind of is. So this one has been great. If you deal with those problems, try something like this. I think it's only like eight bucks and you can get it at Ulta and Target, Meyer, I think. So I don't know. But yeah, that's my hair care. That's all the stuff that I use on my hair, um, you know, every week really. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested in trying any of this stuff, I'll leave it all linked down below for you. I'll also link everything that's on my face in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, my Instagram and Twitter are down there too. So like come chat with me, come see what's up. Otherwise, please subscribe and come hang out with me again. I would love to have you. So yeah, have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great whatever you're doing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.